Oi, 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 YouTube, it is good to see you, and I hope that you've had your water. I hope you're taking care of yourself today. Today, we're going to be talking about the 4.6.1 bug fix patch, and that's primarily what this is, is a bug fix patch. Of course, uh, let's dive right in real quick. It is a fairly short patch, but uh, today we are seeing the updates to the Trickster coming out to the live servers as well. So um, basically, uh, to go over this uh, really quickly, uh, they've increased the movement speed while in the throw state and while actively throwing blades. Previously, the throw state would take you from a 92% movement speed all the way down to a 64% movement speed as you throw blades over time. Uh, they've changed this. It'll start at a 96.7% movement speed and take you down to a 92% movement speed. So not nearly as bad as you throw those knives. They decrease the recoil intensity and angle variation while throwing blades. They've removed the spread while throwing blades as well. They've decreased the wind up time and increased the wind down time. And I think what this means is that you are are actually throwing more blades per second is I think how this actually uh, is, is supposed to be read, but we'll have to see. Increase the time before the laceration me meter begins decaying. Of course, the laceration meter used to decay after 15 seconds. Now it takes 20 seconds. They've increased the main event movement speed. Now let me be clear, this main event movement speed is the same as the throw state movement speed, and it is the 96.7% movement speed. Main event uh, is not meant to keep you at 110% movement speed. Um, it is meant to uh, not decay as this regular throw state decays from 96.7 to 92 this never decays so that is the big difference uh, they decrease the showstopper cooldown after main event has ended so main event normally after it's ended you can't use your knives for 10 seconds they've shortened that to five seconds and they've modified the laceration meter artwork so it's more clear when the meter is full versus partially full, full versus etc so basically it's always on the black opaque background they've changed some of the add-ons they've decreased the effect of movement speed add-ons the killing part cords and the caged heart shoes uh, so those have now effectively been changed. Let me see what those actually come out to here. All right, so looking at it now, the killing part cords, uh, if you just use the killing part cords, which is the brown add-on, this will push your movement speed to about 0.975, so just barely up the 0 0.04 meters a second. And then the caged heart shoes will actually push you up by 0.1%. Now what this all means, or not 0.1%, but 0.1 meters per second. So what this all means is that with both of these add-ons equipped, Trickster actually moves at 100% movement speed. He moves the exact same as Survivors if he has both of these equipped um, as of today. So uh, you can do that. Uh, iridescent photocard will now injure Survivors at maximum laceration. This is, of course, to mitigate prior concerns that people could just throw blades without counting and then get the M1 for the exposed status effect. Iridescent photocard now requires that you are precise with your knives, and if you over lacerate, then uh, then your exposed is wasted. Now the big the main event here is the bug fixes see what i did there it's a joke they fixed a lot of uh issues in the game that we're going to talk about real quick so um let's start here fix an issue that could prevent pallets from stunning killers under certain circumstances right so pallet stuns are fixed fix an issue that could cause pallets broken with the perk spirit fury to leave a collision zone behind so that is now fixed spirit fury is active again fixed an issue that prevented the trickster from earning brutality points when injuring or downing survivors with blades so now he will get the appropriate medals fixed an issue that prevented trickster to earn chaser emblem points when injuring or downing survivors with blades again more chaser points so trickster will now be able to get the adept if you guys are looking for that fixed an issue that could prevent add-on inferno wires and tequila moon rock from increasing duration of main events so those were fixed as well um so the fixed an issue that could cause a small delay in the activation of wraith's post uncloak speed boost so we've noticed that a little bit where like wraith speed boost has been very inconsistent um fixed an issue that could prevent d strike from deactivating when a survivor unhooks another survivor once the generators are powered or the end game collapse has started so this has allowed for a lot of like borrowed time d strike plays to happen and people to get out that maybe necessarily shouldn't fix an issue that could cause pyramid heads power cancel animation to play while charging rights of judgment if the charge is quickly canceled and restarted so this is an animation bug you could quickly like cancel rights and then go right back into it and it would bug the animations um Fixed an issue that could cause Oni to have incorrect rotation speed after hitting a survivor with a demon strike attack after a demon dash. Um, let's see here. Uh, there's, let's see, there's a lot. Fixed an issue that caused invisible collision. So it looks like Red Forest is back. All right. Uh, where rank and pip changes in the public match are not correctly displayed in the scoreboard if the user quits the game. Fixed an issue that caused survivor to be able to climb on a rock in Yamaoka Estate by using Dead Hard. 
Um, a lot of things. Fixed an issue that could cancel Trickster's main event when activated with zero blades remaining. That was fun. I liked that one. I wish that would have stayed. Um, let's see here. There's a lot of stuff you guys can obviously go through, but a lot of bug fixes. Very, very glad the team has addressed a lot of this stuff. Xbox only, PS5 only. So go ahead and check this out. We'll be live on Twitch today, checking out the new Trickster, letting you know what I think about it. As a Trickster main, I'm excited to dig in. And of course, I'll be praying to the entity to see you guys over there.